buttons have already been turned off there uh, with the inside app thing. Okay. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. What month is it, Stinky? October. So what does that mean? Scary crap. <laughs> <laughs> you start off with the, the slightly uh, naughty word straight away there, Stink. What? That's not naughty. Slightly naughty. What are you talking about? A little bit naughty. You're not going to be scared. You don't get oh, scared. What did, what did you do? Wasn't that the game? That's why I press it. That's what you do. Stinkify. you got settings there already, so you might be able to turn that. It looks like you can scroll too. Can you scroll there? Mm -hmm. Oh, scroll Penguin's what? there already. Life upgrade's there too. Oh, you got in there. Quick Aesthetic Ocean's here. And I'm uh. sorry for the Arabic name. I can't read that, and it looks like I might not be able to copy it. But can we give you an English name there? Let me just... I'll see if that works. Let's, let's see if that works. Translation error. What's going on there? Oh, what's going on here? No! Hopefully that hasn't affected the live stream because... Uh, what are you talking about? No, it was just reconnecting. It's still reconnecting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we say to the stink. Oh, there you go. Armani Kitchen and its secrets. So, Armani Kitchen, I will say. How is everyone today? Are you ready for a stink pants to be scared? Are you going to be scared in this one, stinky? I guess so. That's what <laughs> everyone wants it. Oh, Aesthetic says that she loves this game. That's good. We've got one that at least one of the DLG likes to play. Kane's got a boomer in there already. And a Life Upgrade got in there. I didn't even see that before I sent the messages. Now, hey, stop, stop moving the, the table. table. Now, do, do your normal stuff there, Stinky, while I uh, set up the other one. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, well, Aesthetic Ocean might be able to give you tips. I already pressed, I thought that's the typewriter. But it doesn't do anything. I found it, sort of. Oh, you don't think that's a typewriter? That's a computer? What? Hey, hey what's going on? Dup, 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 what's this? Map. So, I guess the first question for the day is, uh, oh, Penguin's giving you tips already. Uh, oh, no, he's saying... Boost Don't the, die. <laughs> no, he said, boost the clock, let's play COC, which I'm not so sure I want to talk about after the clan war leagues. There is a lot of drama in our clan, a lot. But to be honest, I'm quite happy. That's all I'll say. I'm very happy. Uh, Stink, I don't know what's going on. It said find a typewriter. Do you think this is... Yeah, that's it. Oh. The typewriter? Um, well, it's a computer, ah. but it's a typewriter, I suppose. Well, the footprints kind of lead me there. Ah, then... So, I don't know why I can't press it. I mean, I can press, but that's nothing. Well, let's see if uh, any of the, the live chat can give us tips on this. Aesthetic might be able to because she did say she loves this game. You and love this game. You want to play this one? I know Kane recommended... Kane again! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All-arounder guy is here. Hello, how are you? I it's hate good. you, Kane. <laughs> you are the October hater. Arch nemesis right. is your Kane there. Uh, welcome to the stream there, all-rounder guy. So, I guess the first question that I have to ask is, what gives you goosebumps? You know, like scratching on the chalkboard, does that give you goosebumps? Mm, maybe not, but what? it's kind of annoying. What about someone singing? 
if you hear a really good singer. It can. Yeah. Very rare, but it's can, yeah. And what would you say about the my goosebumps? You know what I get. What are you talking about? You know, touching, looking, seeing someone else do it. No, I don't. Can't remember. Flower. Have to do it again. I'm not going to, even <laughs> thinking about it. I can give myself goosebumps thinking about touching flower. Have to do it again. You have to prove. Let me see. You already know. You've seen <laughs> me do it many, many times. That's why I do no baking. No baking for the poo dot. It's all. Poo dot, on... I don't know what's going on. Uh, well, let's have a look. No, Aesthetic Ocean still hasn't said anything. Just easy. You can keep walking around that room, can you? Or is there nothing no, else to see? See, I can just go to the footprint. Otherwise, I can't. I can just look around like this. See? Did Even it? it's on the left, on the right, it's the same. Then I have to click on the footprint. Can you touch anything else? No. Touching everything. Touching everything. It is a puzzle game, so. I guess given that that's so thing, okay, it's a puzzle game. Fine. I'm guessing that uh, that that computer might be the typewriter, although it is a laptop. It doesn't look like a typewriter. Oh, kitty cats. Can you you can keep moving around there? No. Can you get closer to it? How? I guess not. Oh, this isn't a good start. This is going to be like uh, Hello Neighbor, isn't it? Huh? Well, unless you get the the advice from the, the live chat, it's very difficult to... At least Hello Neighbor, I still can move more than this. This is like three step one. Oh. Oh. Two. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going around in circles. Kane says follow the footprints, but you've been doing that. That's only one, two, three... Uh, Penguin says don't die, but that doesn't really help at the moment. Uh, I think that computer thing is a typewriter. Yeah, and I press it. I don't know what else I can do. Uncle it's not Pitt doing Adam. anything. Ah. Oh, uh, tsh, yeah. Tap and hold? Okay. Oh, tap and hold. There oh. you go. Tap and hold, stinky. That's what you do. Thank you, Penguin. And uh, yeah, uh, to be honest, the the subscriber thing, Penguin watches our subscriber count very closely. And it just keeps going up and down. Every time we gain them, we just lose them again. It's been ongoing for probably more than a month now, which is one of the reasons I needed a bit of a pick-me-up from, from the clan. Uh, from the clan, from... The uh, DLG, because, you know, I've been working really, really hard to try and grow the channel and it seems like it's not happening at the moment. Even though we have new people get interested and, you know, clearly they subscribe, I see that they get unsubscribed as well. So even though they're sort of coming and leaving comments and so on, it still doesn't seem to make a difference. So, yeah, it's, it's not good at the moment. Um, or maybe we're just no one likes us anymore. Maybe it got out what happened in the after the what? clan war leagues. Everyone knows now that old Uncle Poodot's a nasty character. He does have his moments, let's face it. Sometimes I can be a bit crotchety, <coughs> a little bit aggro. <coughs> Can't I try to keep things pleasant and positive? Doesn't always happen though. Uh, dead trigger, I think. I'll write that down, but I believe I've got Dead Trigger. Um, let's put that in there. I'm not, I'm not sure. For some reason, that sounds really familiar. So thank you for that one, uh, Kane. Yeah, it's sort of funny with the... We do have uh, people that are faithful for sure, but having said that, you know, a lot of them are just looking for their, their own support, so... They don't really care about us. They just want want support for themselves, which is understandable when you're small. Lots of people are like that. Uncle Poodot, what happened in the clan wars? Oh, no. <laughs> should I 
Should what? I or shouldn't I? Penguin's asking me what happened with the clan wars. What do you mean? What? Because of all of that drama that happened yesterday. He's not in our clan. How That's, does he know? Well, because we know that... It, see, the, the DLG is going to learn about my nasty side if I go into it. Because I'm actually celebrating. You and I both knew that this was going to happen. And I was waiting. We were both... Auntie Stinkpants and I were both anticipating that this was going to happen. And it did. So, oh, gee, they want to hear about the clan drama. <laughs> they don't want to hear? No, they do want to hear. All right, so uh, clan wars, I'm just going to, sorry, clan war leagues. I'm just going to say straight out, I don't like them as a leader. I find it um, very annoying because it does cause drama. And the main reason for that is the bonuses that get awarded at the end of the, the Clan War League. So you get your normal medals, but then uh, you can give bonuses as well. Now, in the earlier days, I actually let the the Coes, I think only the Coes can also award bonuses. So I used to let them do it, but that just caused more drama because they were giving it uh, to themselves and not basing it on merit and so on. So we established some, some rules but there's one guy in particular in the clan that um, he's not. Uh, yeah, come on, Stinky, you got to help me not be, hmm? not be sort of nasty at this point. You were the one who wanted to talk about it. No, they wanted to hear it though. Nah, I just really? said I wanted to hear it. If you didn't say that, <laughs> true. They wouldn't. If I didn't say anything about it, they wouldn't know. But now they know. So, look, there's. Loyalty counts for a lot, and there's an expression, not that I necessarily believe in it, but sometimes love is not enough. You know, you can love someone, but sometimes it's not enough to maintain a relationship. I've gone through that before. Um, and by the same token, sometimes loyalty is not enough. So we had a, a guy that's been in the clan for four or five years, quite a long time. He wasn't there from the start, but a long time. But to be honest, you know, over the years, um, I'd say most of the clan, I don't think it was just me, most of the clan probably ended up disliking him. He's quite uh, rude to people. He was rude to me yesterday. And then projected, I want to get into the psychology of people as well, because I think that's it. So we're getting into the important, serious topics already. So, yeah, for a long time I've wanted to get rid of him. Like, for years I've wanted to get rid of him, but because he was loyal and good donator and that sort of thing, I just let him pass and kept warning him to, to follow the clan rules and be polite and respectful, but he just he's not capable of it for whatever reason. So uh, he didn't get a bonus, and he was pretty mad at that. And I was hoping some people from the clan uh, would join today so that they can understand and it's easier for me to talk to them than it is to type it all out but uh, we tried to establish the rules for clan war league he didn't follow them uh, they were created in part because he complains every clan war league and we took his complaints into consideration and then he ended up doing everything that he was complaining about so yeah at the end of the day there was a long debate well, not even a debate, it was just back and forth uh, between he and I, and then eventually another person just got sick of it and kicked him. So that's pretty much it. I don't want to go into the specifics, that's what I'm saying, and I don't want to say anything too nasty. Like, I wish the guy well, I hope he has a, a good life. He's uh, This is where the serious stuff comes into it. That You know, be aware that there are people out there that you can't really reason with, you know, they, they will not apologise for anything that they do. I have people like that in my real life. Um, they always think they're, they're right, can't apologise. They also like to project. That's another thing that you need to be wary of. If someone uh, insults or attacks you, more often than not, uh, it's a reflection of themselves rather than rather than who you are. So don't take it personally. Like, I didn't take it personally. I just knew that whatever 
my belief is whatever's going on in his real life, he's he lashes out at other people because he seems to do that a lot. So, you know, good luck to him. But unless you're willing to change as a person, it's not really going to help you in real life. So there you go. That's a, a long-winded thing about the, the drama and more importantly, just understanding how, how people's minds work because I find that very interesting. You know, this is another reason why I keep people like that around. It teaches me to be patient and it teaches me to be tolerant. So I try to tolerate people and be patient with them. Uh, this leads me on to another thing that, that um, I don't think... I saw a channel the other day. Uh, I can't even remember the name, so I'm not going to name names. But I was quite shocked at their attitude, political attitude. I'm not going to go into the politics of it, but it was. Um, I was surprised that they would be that open about being very, uh, shall we say, narrow-minded. So it's better to keep an open mind, people, you know. I, hopefully I strive to do that, you know. Learn from, from everyone around you, if you can, learn the good and the bad, because the bad will teach you not to do it. There you go, there's a Poodot rant. Now, uh, oh, I better, better read a bit of the chat there, because I've missed that. Uh, you'll always be my favourite uncle, no matter who you are. That's very kind, Penguin. But, you know, everyone's got good and bad aspects to their personality. I can get grumpy, can't I? And lash mm -hmm. out at times if I get really angry. Mm -hmm. You know, poor old Auntie Stinkpants has been subject to that. But I'm not really saying poor old Auntie Stinkpants because she's ten times worse. Uh-oh. <laughs> you see, she's not denying it. Oh, Spidey's here. We have no fear. Scary Saturday, that's right. Have you had any of the jump scares? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Spoiler alert. What? It's supposed to be, according to the reviews, it's supposed to be a pretty scary game. Yeah, I just die. Oh, there you go. I didn't hear you go, <gasps> like you're doing, Granny. <laughs> Kane's scared already. Uh, I actually can't hear anything, so, you know, this type of game, sometimes I have to hear it. Oh, that's true. Like Granny, you have to hear whether you make any noise so you can basically run, run away, away or do hide or something. Do. This is, like, disadvantaged from me. <laughs> I get you. I have only visual. Yeah, it is very difficult to live stream some of these games when you need to hear the sounds, isn't it? And, oh, Wolf Twins is here. No need to apologise uh, for being late. You're not really late anyway. We're just happy that you're here. Uh, so Penguin says, I'm sorry to hear that, Uncle Poodot. My sister is a perfect example. There you go. So there are people like that in your life. And uh, I've got to say, I've got relatives like, like that as well. But, you know, you love your relatives as a general rule. So it's, it's different. You end up having to be more tolerant. You have no choice. Uh, Kane says, did you hear the story about the monster that was covered in goosebumps? It is a bumpy tail. Oh, uh -oh. that one's... Uh, if it will let me copy and paste, because I couldn't do it in the last live stream for some reason. Uh, so just bear with me. I'm just going to try and... Uh, it's not letting me do it. Oh, yeah, it did. Oops, it let me do it three times. Okay, let me get rid of that. Sorry, guys, I'm doing a little bit of typing. You know how that works. Now, because I've got to put all of those shout shout outs in the um, the pinned comment, I can really only take two to three jokes at maximum if they're short. Uh, and Kane's worked it out. And he knows how it works. Goosebumps related. Um, okay, I might even have to keep it to two if I get the names in. Uh, put the names in there. So, let's just see. Stinky, what's going on there? Chat away so that hey. I can do this. Hmm? Me no chat away. Chat, chat away! Up. <laughs> chat up! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let me just do that one as well. At least this is going a little bit smoother than the previous week. It's looking a little bit better. And where was the last one? That's that one there. Someone that's joining the live chat's probably like, what is he talking about? 
and then can I copy and paste penguin's name? Let's have a look there. Uh, no, Kane's name, I should say. Where is it? Let me do that. Almost finished. Sorry about this. Okay. Uh, the, yes. Can make it out of this. Okay, it looks like I can only fit one more in there and that has to be short, so I'll leave that up to the, the live chat. Let's make sure that worked. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I teach you how to fly, this is true. My picture for the animation are gone. No, that's no good. Some message retracted. Wolf twins, what color do zombie goosebumps turn when they are scared? When they are scared, zombies goosebumps. Huh? Zombie goosebumps. What color do they turn when they're scared? Uh, I don't think they're scared. Green. Why green? That's a good question. Why green? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just downed a whole can of diet coke. Is anyone proud? You can do that, can't huh? you, Stinky? What? Drank a whole can of diet coke. Uh, like all at once? Have you ever no. done a shotty? Do you know what a shotty is? They no. might call it something different where everyone else is. No. This is where you can drink a whole can and it's usually, a, well, it's going to be a fizzy drink uh, in about two or three seconds, three or four seconds at the most. So what you do is punch a hole in the bottom of the can, right? And because it's all pressurized and everything, nothing comes out. So when you open the tab at the top, it comes gushing out, like literally kind of goes straight down your throat. You, you don't have time to, you got to swallow, but it's very, very fast. Uh, I recommend doing that with soft drinks only. Hang on, I actually can't hear you when I'm concentrating. That's all right. Uh, oh, Kane reminded me. Yeah, there's no soundtrack. What was I doing? I've been talking all that time. No soundtrack. And I'm sorry, you keep listening to the same one just because it's the favourite scary one of mine and I haven't managed to to uh, have the time to do another one just because I've been trying to grow the channel and it's not really working at the moment. So there you go. Uh, thank you, Kane. Very much appreciated for reminding me. Uh, remember the Minecraft stream? We'll get to Minecraft one day. I said diet, no sugar, says Penguin. What day of the life, day of your life, do you get the most goosebumps? Stinky. Slappy. Your hang last on, day. Oosh, oosh, oosh. All right, I might have to put both the canes in. Then that way. Uh, all right, let me just edit that. What did I do? I don't get it. <laughs> anyway. Yep, that'll just fit. Beautiful. What? Golden light fade away. The, 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 the stomach was evil present. Uh, what? What about the meatloaf? What happened? I'm not quite sure. I think I just defeat one quest, one monster, I guess. Congratulations, Stinky. Nice one. Uh, is that an ad or is it an actual ad? That's an ad. Oh, an ad. Anyway. Do you know, do you have any experience like sometimes you just have a goosebump? For no reason. Yeah. That's when, you know, it's something spooky actually happens. Like you're walking in a park late at night and maybe something in the corner of the eye, you don't know what it is. That happens, you know, or cold spots in a room. Yeah, what do you mean cold spot? So let's say we're just here in, in this room. Yeah. And you walk around, but there's one particular area that suddenly is much, much colder. Huh? If you have a look at videos on it's YouTube. Cold. Yeah, anywhere but it's in a, Melbourne. <laughs> it's allegedly like a spiritual thing. And you can see videos of people walking around with a thermometer and it just suddenly drops in that one area. Mm. And it's not that they've got anything on. There's no heater or air conditioner or, or whatever. Yeah. They just experience it. So yeah. that'll give you goosebumps. What about things crawling on you? That'll give you goosebumps. Yeah. That's happened to me before. Uh huh. And uh, about the shoddy before, Penguin says it's called drowning in soda. Drowning in soda. Yeah. 
See, Aussies like to shorten things. Shoddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shoddy is shorter than drowning in soda. Um, you know, the, I have experienced goosebumps just like what you said, but not in the garden, not in the park, in my own house. What happened? Before my dad died. Oh, I'm sorry to, to hear you went through that, but, you know. But it's... When, at that time, I didn't think about it. I'm like, you know, you saw a bit of shadow at the corner of your eye and you, like you just don't think about it too much it's my home right and how much <laughs> and suddenly you know the school's bum happening and how much before like how the night before yeah so this is another really common thing that uh, twins get it in a really really strong way but lots of relatives apparently they either have a dream or they think that their relative is actually speaking to them and they look around and it's like, oh, where's, where's dad or, or whatever. They go through that experience where they get a sudden chill, goosebumps, and then it happens. So it's a very common phenomenon as well for that to happen. It hasn't happened to me yet. Oh, you don't want that. <laughs> no, I know, but I've had... Like, I didn't think of it until, like, funeral and everything passed and I'm like... Actually, that happened to me right yeah. at night before he passed away. And your sister had an experience too, didn't she? Oh, that's after my dad died. And she's like, she she thought she was haunted. <laughs> right. But I, I actually don't have the same experience. And we live at the same house. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess maybe everyone has a different experience. Did, did Have you spoken to anyone else in the family about that? Like, did anyone else have an experience or you don't know? Oh, she's back on the game. Huh? What? Did anyone else in your, your family have that experience? It's it usually just... me and my youngest sis. Right. Fair enough. Mm. I always, like, dream. Because I, I'm i scared of it, the real one, you know, and I don't want to prove it. Yep. <laughs> so, I actually... Um, like tell my dad in my funeral like dad if you want to communicate with me <laughs> you just walked past the bookcase and oh. I need to go away from this school oh there you go oh gee there is something there hide I'm hiding uh where how do you oh we got another joke we're gonna try and lighten the mood at this point how does a witch like to prepare their human supper before eating them? A light cover and a sprinkle of goosebumps. I know he's looking at the exact same page I looked at. <laughs> uh, Wolfie says, sometimes is live stream, can you do Among Us? Because I recently got it, I want to play with you guys. We might have to do a dedicated Among Us live stream because that seems to be fun for everyone. Although they can cheat very easily, but that's fine. <laughs> Doesn't seem to bother Stink. She still wins. What? You're a winner. Now i got to do the trash talk. That's <laughs> how that one works. Oh, yeah, trash talk. Uh, Spidey says, yeah, I got it back. It was in my album. Oh, nice one. Super Valkyrie is coming to Clash. Nice one. Yeah, I saw that uh, video. And Random's here. Good to see you. Uh, how, you, how have you been? Uh, Penguin saying, so a goose is walking very fast and a man standing in line, the goose runs into the man and the man says, man says to the man in front of him, a goose just bumped into me, other man. You got goosebumps, mate. <laughs> well, isn't that a goose bump if a goose accidentally bumps into you? Okay. Or deliberately bumps into you. Still sure. a goose bump. Nice one. Like it. <laughs> and Kane's saying he's the only one that can say the goosebump jokes no one else uh, is 9 no in German yes it is I can say that and see amigo means yes either in my yes my friend either in Spanish or Portuguese I uh, find it difficult to tell the difference between those two languages but in this live stream we'll see how we go with the game uh, Woofie and how how stink pants is feeling uh, towards the end there because usually if we swap a, a game it's because you know we're struggling with this one 
So we'll see how it goes, but promise you it looks like we will have to do another one. Just bear in mind that, you know, it's scare fest for Stinky at the moment. What? <laughs> you do a month of scare fest. When, yeah. When's Halloween? That's when your nightmares are over. What? <laughs> Isn't That's it too long. Late October, is it? Then I think you started too early as well. You started since September. Yeah, Anta. you gotta you gotta get in there early like they're doing with the hot cross buns these days. You know when hot cross buns come out in uh, Australia now? It's literally like a couple of days after Christmas, which is just wrong. Well least Stinky doesn't mind. She doesn't uh, care about the traditions, do you? You just like hot cross buns. Yep. When I grew up, it was like one or two weeks beforehand and maybe one or two weeks after. And then it just kept getting earlier and earlier. And there's even a news report on it where the, the uh, supermarkets came out and said, look, we're just doing what the customers want. You're one of those customers, Stinky, forcing for it to happen. <coughs> story time. We've got another story time. Kane's saying no to that, but I like them. Now, while we're waiting for those, I've got to tell the cat story from last night. Mm. You know, I didn't get much sleep last night because of the cat. Every time uh, I was about to get to sleep, I'd hear her running up and down the hallway. And I thought, well, you know, she didn't do much yesterday and had a fight with one of the neighbourhood cats briefly. So she just kept... I thought she'd slept a lot, you know, so she's very active. You sure? Yeah. She wants a poop? <laughs> <laughs> and see, you know the personality of that cat. I went up to, got up to use the toilet a couple of times, and the last time I did it, she scratched in her little kitty litter box briefly, so then I knew what that means. And this is a personality of that cat. She'll just run up and down, run up and down, as if to say, come on, I need to go. <laughs> And so I went in there and said, oh, you need to need to use it, do you? And I could see that she'd used it to, to uh, do a number one. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. She's so spoilt. She'll only use it once. And then she expects you to clean it straight after. She won't use it again. And I saw her jump in the bathtub. And I'm like, oh, now I know for sure that's what you want to do. So I cleaned up her number one. And literally the second that I scooped it out and put more stuff in. Bang, she was in there doing a big number two. So there you go. That And she was quiet after that. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great story to tell, but it kept me up last night. And she's a crazy cat. So this story is about my uncle who passed away a year before I was born. My mother to- never told me about his since it was difficult for her. Oh, this is going to be a serious story. And we need to, I guess, talk about these things too. Red December's here. It's good to see you too. How have you been? Uh, are things okay where you are at the moment? I gotta say, you know what we should do? Get Red December to buy us a lotto ticket. Huh? Not that we encourage gambling, but the number of times she's won prizes is unbelievable. She's probably oh, oh. oh, jump scare. That didn't scare you. A little bit. Scared me a bit. Really? I wasn't expecting it. Because every time I look over, you're just walking around. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, uh, I don't know how many in a matter of weeks or months, but at least three, I think. Three times she's won stuff recently. I've probably won three things in my life. No, that's not true. Mm. One more than that. Only because I'm willing to enter things every now and again as long as it's free <laughs> it's like sure. the, the one and only time I bought a lotto ticket when when uh, what was it worth a hundred and something million dollars all these people like even you know my family members don't gamble and they bought lotto tickets some of my best friends don't gamble they bought these lotto ticket and uh, I actually won I won one of the divisions, but the ticket cost more than than the division paid out. What's the point of that? What is the point of having a prize where you win? I mean, I was out of pocket about 40 cents or something. It was less than a dollar, but still. 
Because uh-huh. a guy said, congratulations, you won. And I'm like, how did I win? The ticket cost more than that. And he's like, oh, well, at least you got <laughs> most of your money back. Uh. And then I asked my mate, and he won as well. And I think he was just one division up. So he made like a dollar or two. Uh. <laughs> Not even worth it. <laughs> Not worth it for the time and effort that you go in there. And it's funny that, you know, because we got them at a, a uh, news agent's. So I walked in and all the guys from work also didn't really buy lotto tickets. So none of us knew how to do it. We all walked in and like, how how do we do this? So we had to get an education on that. Uh, So for the story, it was uh, 2010 and the day was turning to night. And my mother was crying about family and how my grandmother was doing. Well, again, so I went to bed. My dream started off with my school day. So, yeah, I've had this sort of happen before after someone passes. And Red December said, yes, I got my ref- rescue Afghan dog on... I can't even read uh, anymore. Uh, yeah. The rescue Afghan hound dog on Tuesday. I renamed him Moon Shadow. Moon Shadow. He's like a huge pony. I wonder if she she's naming him after that gorgeous song. Can you sing it? No. Do you want me to sing it? <laughs> Cat Stevens, or I think he's called Yusuf now. Formerly known as Cat Stevens, formerly known as Yusuf Islam, now just Yusuf. He wrote Moon Shadow. It's a great song. And he is huge, like a pony. See? Big, big Afghan dog. Except they're quite skinny, so I don't think I'd ever be able to ride one. I'd like to try in the next life as a kid, not not now crush the poor thing so is he well behaved uh red december is there any any uh training problems for lack of a better phrase because i wonder how often you have to worry about that Uh, a friend of mine's got a couple of cats from the rspca the first one was really really good one of the nicest cats i've ever met the second one took a long time to be more affectionate and even now she's not super affectionate only when we take care of her when we go to visit not so much isn't it good old stink pants uh except it was with my lightsabers oh this is a strange dream and then after talking with my mate school ends and when i go to the car my mum isn't the driver it's a strange man who i'd never seen before i'm guessing this is going to be the uncle spoiler alert uncle. you're doing quite well in this game stinky Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know i get comments all the time saying i love your banter you guys are so funny but what do you tell me Hoop. Hoop. be quiet oh geez the hiccups are coming already Oh, excuse me. He gets along well with a small dog. He pulls me down the street when he sees bunny rabbits. Oh, there you go. I wonder, Red December, would you be game enough to strap on a pair of rollerblades or roller skates or skateboard? I wouldn't recommend doing it with a bike. Lots of people do it, and I did it with as a kid, but unless you've got a really well-disciplined dog, which ours wasn't, uh, and she wasn't big enough to tow us anyway, so she'd just run along beside us with a leash. But sometimes, you know, she'd get the leash tangled, so it's just too dangerous. But I have seen other people use their their dogs as uh, what do you call them? The huskies, sled dogs. You just strap them up and let them take you for a ride. Maybe we should get those bigger dogs for the apocalypse. So if we need to flee quicker than we can be bothered walking strap a couple of dogs onto a sled with wheels and off we go. Oh, now I have to go downstairs. Okay. Oh, you got a map there. Nice one, Stinky. Mm. Maybe Red December. Not again that I'm encouraging this, but if you get a bunny rabbit, then maybe the dog won't chase them as much. Okay. If you... I don't know if this really works, but you can make pretty much... All animals become friends. Uh, like, hold on, I don't want to go downstairs. <laughs> you go to Hawaii, you scared now? Is that what you're telling me? I don't want to die. 
<laughs> oh, see, Red December does do it. She uses a push scooter. So if you have a scooter and then just have the dogs in front, off you go. Plus, she's uh, pretty small, she's told us before, so the dog would have no trouble. Imagine one dog trying to pull me, unless it was a St. Bernard or a uh, Great Dane that would probably struggle. Uh, and more to the story, so as I got in the car and buckled up, I asked the man, where are we going? And he said, we're going to the hospital to see my grandmother. So we go to the hospital and she isn't there. So there's more story to come. <laughs> but yeah, you can make uh, animals like each other. So I know that uh, Dad, for example, they've got a cat and a bird and a dog. And they all kind of either get along or they don't harm each other. You see what I'm saying? And they're all natural enemies, but they're, you know, okay once they realise that there's a pet in the household. And I'd like to say that means that the cat doesn't go out and uh, kill birds in the wild, but the reality is it's a very lazy cat, so it probably couldn't do that even if it wanted to. It doesn't move around too much. So it's sort of a true story, Red December, for this one, because we were talking earlier before you joined the stream about what gives people goosebumps and uh, you know what are some things that people experience and it turned into a bit of a scare fest because you know we like to scare stink pants <laughs> you go picking up those books you're doing quite well stinky so i'd like to hear your goosebumps experience if you have any but you think i'm weird with the flower don't you stinky and just looking at you can bake a cake or something and once you start mucking around with flour what that will give this? me goosebumps <gasps> I think you probably want to run away from that I'm hiding oh you're hiding I don't know what it is what do the eyes do in the corner like hiding um. not to call press and hold oh there you go so red December and this happens too Stardust, her other Afghan hound, chased down a rabbit. And thank you for just saying it didn't end well rather than going into the, the details. I get what she means. Mm -hmm. But then did it a second time and let the rabbit go. We've had a, a couple of dogs that were good at getting rabbits. And yeah, they, they don't end well. So after me and the man asked around for her and she isn't there. So he got back in the car. The man looks puzzled, but then takes me home. And before he leaves... He, I asked him, who are you? He said, I'm Alan. See, Red December doesn't even know what this story is about. So she, no spoiler alerts from me. Isn't it? Although you'll have to explain at the end, Penguin, uh, the why. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything now. Just say it's spoiler. Did stream end? No, as far as I can tell, we're still going. Is it, everything looks fine there. Oh, let me check the, the other one. Uh, it still looks fine at the moment, from what I can see. It's all going okay. Let me just put in the special emojis there. I was hoping uh, one of the channel members would show up because they used the special emojis about two hours ago to leave a comment. Oh, maybe is random right? No, there it goes. Never mind, seems like a bugger on my end. Yeah, well, I was a little bit worried the start of the stream was going to stop for some reason. Okay, I said, so where are you going? You said, I'm going back to the hospital. And wait, okay, I said, then I wake up and lo and behold, the next day my grandmother is put in the hospital. So there's another experience where you... Uh, preempt or have a premonition if that's a better better word to use premonition of something happening okay it's quite uh, I'm not gonna say frightening but I'm kind of a believer in you know the sixth sense sort of stuff mm -hmm. there seems to be too many examples uh, from people for it not to be real on some level now that doesn't the the whole psychic thing you know, maybe it's true, maybe it isn't, because I have seen documentaries where people just disprove all of it. And there is a lot of basic human psychology that uh, psychics use to trick people. 
And I'm not saying they all do, but, you know, I'm aware of how they do what they do because, you know, I have to use it for work as well. So, um, oh, what's this? I wonder what is it too? But uh, there does seem to be some sort of phenomena that's out there. What was that? Don't know. Save you. Oh, but mm, it's over there. Okay. Do you ever play those ads, or you don't bother? Play what? Like the actual game ads. What do you mean? Because you can, while you're waiting for it to to close, you can actually play it. Not always. Sometimes. Never. Can I did sometimes. Oh, there you go. But some ads, you are not really playing it. You have to watch it. Like oh. that one. <coughs> she took an hour nap, and when she woke up, she was happy and told my mum that she was able to walk with Alan. So I spoke up about Alan and explained my dream, and then I asked. Here we go, we're getting, I think, towards the end of Penguin's story. <coughs> but it is, um, I find all of this stuff very interesting when you hear of people's experiences of the supernatural. Can I say that as well? We've talked about ghosts in previous streams, but there are other supernatural things that occur. You know, the stuff that's, I've had a couple of, corner of the eye experiences I've seen things in the sky that uh, seemed highly unusual uh, and it makes you second guess yourself a lot of the time like did I really see that did that really happen you know but if it's I guess if it keeps happening then you've either got psychological issues or there might be something behind it, it could be any of that she took an hour nap and when she woke up she was happy and she told my mum that she was able to talk with Alan Oh no, I read that bit already. Uh, who is Alan? And my mum told me that it was my uncle who passed away a year before I was born. There you go. So, and did he... This might test your memory quite a bit here because you're recalling a dream, uh, Penguin. But can you remember what he looked like? Did he actually look like your uncle? Because sometimes it's hard. Like you, I have dreams where I know I've dreamt of a particular person, but... The visual aspect doesn't match up so the the person in the dream didn't look like the person that i was dreaming about do you ever have that not sure not sure you don't recall your dreams as well as i do do you uh red december says my dogs have an animal communicator who speaks with them and then the dog speaks back wow Rex Pax is here. Hello, Rex Pax. I think, uh, so this game is called, what is it called? Goosebumps Night of Scares. And if Rex Pax, are you a former member of the clan? I think you are. I could be wrong about that, but it's the same name as someone that was in the clan. So let me know. Because, uh, you know, if you are, then let's have a chat. We've already talked about <laughs> things that have happened previously in the clan that uh i don't know I, I have to apologize to that group you know i know that uh Gupla told me off and said that i can be a little bit too harsh sometimes or was showed a different side of myself and i try to control it and yesterday was not good yesterday oh, was not too bad it wasn't too bad was it Oh, so it is, yeah, it is Rex Pax from the clan. So I hope, uh, I don't think anything bad happened between you and I. It was more Godson that uh, we had a, a bit of an argument with. And there was no hard feelings on my end, really. Like, unlike, uh, just to let you know, Rex Pax, Pa was booted yesterday because he was doing, he was saying things that were worse than anything Godson said. So he was letting a few insults fly and uh, we'd just basically had enough. So it, uh -oh. you would want to let me know when you want to come uh, back to the clan because, you know, they have that habit of not letting people back in once they leave. But I'd let Rex Pax back in. He was in the, the clan for years. Mm. And, you know, he's friends with uh, Gupla. He's friends with Godson. So... I uh, went to help a friend with a new clan. 
Oh, so good. So there is nothing personal between Rex Pax and I. I wasn't sure if the whole Godson thing had annoyed him as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I know it didn't annoy Gupla. She was just shocked. She was like, oh, I didn't expect that. Nah. But she kind of understood both sides. That's what I like about Gupla. She's very um, diplomatic. Very, She's one of those people... And I think a lot of the the DLG, the people that are in the live chat that support, uh, actually support the channel, I think a lot of these people are like that, where they'll, you know, willing to listen to both sides. They're very calm. You know, they probably have their moments like everyone else, but they're they're nice people. That's what what I I am getting. I thought I'm already high. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Rex Pax just said... Par left, wonderful. <laughs> that just made my day, Rex Pax. What? Oh, come on. I don't think anyone would care that he got kicked out. He was he was quite, you know, difficult to deal with. I'm trying to be nice about it and not yeah. say nasty things, but the reality is he would... He would say things... He would be disrespectful to people. That's all I'll say. And that's one of the rules in our clan is just be respectful. It's the first rule. Be respectful. So, yeah, there you go. I'm, Rex Pax, you have put a massive smile on my face for that. Because uh. I was worried. I was worried if the clan was going to care that we got rid of him. Because he had been there for years. But I suspect most people... You said last night that you think... You know, people were scared of him, so they didn't want to say anything. But I'm sure that they'd be quietly celebrating. Now, can you do a tiny bit of chat while I let him... I can! I'm concentrating! Concentrate! Yes, come on. Oh, Rex Pax, I'm so glad he joined... That, that just uh, makes me feel a hell of a lot better after yesterday. Okay. Because I wasn't sure, you know, not a hundred... I had a feeling that people would be happy and the fact that Rex Pax is just straight up, yep, that's good. <laughs> so in that case, I should apologise for leaving him there for so long because, you know, I've been wanting to get rid of him for years too but tried to be tolerant and patient and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yes, but it was him at a young age instead of him as an old man. Since as an old man, he was uh, bald, oh, bald and had a full beard. But the man I saw him had a, had a loss of head hair and no beard. There you go. Ewan Bourne's here. It's good to see you again as well, Ewan. So there's another original DLG member. Uh, Red December said, my dog Moonshadow is watching the stream. He likes to watch video games. <laughs> That's great. Hopefully we can entertain. Hello, Moonshadow. <laughs> How are you? You a good boy? Moonshadow, sit. Sit. <laughs> what I wonder the heck? if that works. I'm trying. Moonshadow, what are you doing there, boy? Who's a good boy? That's how you talk to uh, animals, isn't it? Uh. He's a good dog. Can you boy shake hands? Or girl? Shake hands. Boy or girl? I think Moon Shadow is the boy and Stardust is the girl. Oh. Uh, no, Ewan's been been Uh-oh. around for a long time, but he doesn't uh, doesn't always have the time to join every stream, which is understandable. But yeah, Ewan's. Uh, I oh think we. God, how many times I'm gonna die? <laughs> To be honest, I think we met Ewan before we even started streaming. That's how long he's been around. So, I think that's right anyway. DLGAG. Oh, speaking of which, I have to get into the... i got to speak to your animator. We're running out of time to be able to change that... Um, I'm going to put that emoji in there because I put that one in just while I'm waiting for your animator to do the artwork for us. So maybe if you can, if we're staying up later tonight, then I can give her a call and say, come on, you've got to get on this. It's been a while. So uh, Ewan, there's a few people here that have been very, very loyal to join the streams. You might not have met Red December yet, but you probably know 
most of the other guys uh, already. Maybe, I don't know, there's quite a few. Some of them are a bit quiet, but Red December is newer than a lot of the other old ones. Uh, Isn't it? This game just made me sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so you did get a score. <laughs> this one is scary. Come on, Stinky. It's not bad. It's been on the scale of this one to scary teacher. Ah, uh, this is more. There you go. But you compare to last year the granny. Ah, uh, granny is scary as well. Similar to this, but what I'm thinking is the the monster that have only grassu. Do you remember the monster that only the had eye? Oh, really? It's eyes scared you. Yeah, that's scary, but I'm just run away. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you can do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing well, Stinky? So I'm glad this it's... This one, I can't really running. You see, I have to follow the footprint. Oh, right. So you can't and go And then in hiding any... when it's appropriate. Whatever. So, yeah, kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another... Penguin's asking us to do a cooking stream, which, you know, that was the original. This is talking about... I don't about, want to get out now. <laughs> you got to do something. You can't stay there the whole time. I'm, I'm going to stay here. It's safe. <laughs> so without giving... I'm actually staying in the washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> How did you manage to crawl into the washing machine? Maybe I should turn it on. Oh, no, no! Get in! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good game. I like this one. And it's not actually the one that uh, Kane recommended. He recommended a different Goosebumps game. But uh, I, I actually downloaded them both, to be honest. But I'd read the reviews Hola. of this one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we like to see. Stinky getting scared in a live stream. Uh, and Penguin's asking for a cooking one. So this is going to tell a little bit about the channel. Um, that, yeah, you know, we never intended to do gaming live stream. That was not the original plan. Uh, we didn't even know how to live stream and really only played one game. So, yeah, it was never the intention. We, we did want to do some cooking stuff. I don't know if we could do a live stream for it, though, but we could certainly upload videos. Although last night I was watching some camping things, so I'd love to do a live stream camping thing where maybe it's camp cooking. Although it'd be complete failure because, you know, I hardly ever do that. So it'd be, I'm not an expert at uh, using the coals in the fire. But maybe we'll give that a shot one day, Stinky, if we're ever allowed to, to travel again. Uh, Red December's asking, am I the only one in the chat from the US? I don't think... So. Well, you're not if uh, Kane's still around. I know he's from the US. How can I get out? Oh. Uh, but pretty much we usually have an international group of people anyway. They seem to be from all over the place. And I'm not... I know where a lot of them are from, but, you know, I don't want to dox them or anything. Although if you could even consider that doxing for just saying which country you live in. The reason we don't try to hide it is because of my strong accent that no one understands. And Stinky's even stronger one that no one understands. Stinky? Hey. <laughs> don't mess with me. See, no one understood. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, they're saying where each other's from. Miss the UK. You're not able to travel, I guess, at the moment. Um... Cheers, mate. Penguin, what state do you... Oh, okay, I'm not going to read any of that just in case... I oh, know, he answered it anyway. There you go. I've been to California in my time. Only, only two states in America, California and Nevada. Mm. That's it. That's still a lot, though. It is, but I didn't get... It wasn't really a holiday. I was working while I was there, so... I didn't get to see too. Well, I did get to see a lot. I just didn't get to experience the joy of it because it was work. You know, you go here, go there. I did find uh, it's it's always interesting to see how different cultures operate. And when you go to one that's similar to your own, like you know, Australia and America are similar. The the differences seem almost more pronounced to me. 
than if you go uh, I guess all of the Asian countries that I've been to in a way seem similar to me because they're Asian so there are certain things that it doesn't matter if you're you know in Malaysia or Singapore or Thailand Indonesia you know there, there's just something about those countries that are quite similar even though the cultures are very different and it's the same you go to America and it's kind of similar to Australia but by the same token very different I just couldn't get over the size of things things are huge in America uh, can't wait oh yeah Kane's birthday's coming up soon so we're gonna have to celebrate that you have to give me another reminder Kane uh, isn't it on the 15th sorry if I'm wrong Cali California is a bit rubbish Uncle Poodot so I've heard Again, I've got, I suppose I have to be careful to not get political here, but I did see uh, quite a, a number of videos of people fleeing California. They're, they're moving to other places. Well, I mean, mainly this is celebrity stuff that I saw where they just had enough. And the well, hopefully this doesn't get me in trouble with the censorship or monetization, but I started going down the homeless rabbit hole on youtube and it's incredible the the footage that i saw in america like it's shocking to see that there's so many homeless at the moment that um they basically take over entire areas and it, it they've tried to do that here but the the government sort of stamps down and the police move them on but no they just set up tents there's um i think it's called venice beach I was shocked to see the, the situation at Venice Beach. Like, it's a tourist destination, but now it just seems to be... It literally looks like a homeless camp. It's, you know, I feel sorry for, for these people that they're in that situation. And, you know, lots of people talk about how do you fix it. And sadly, you know, the, some people choose to be that way. Some people have drug problems. Some people have psychological issues, so it's not just as straightforward as setting up housing and putting them in it. So it is a very tough thing to deal with. So AI bot or YouTube, if you're listening, you know, I'm not getting into it too much, but we should be allowed to talk about anything. That's my personal belief. There's no topic. Uh, this is what scares me about the world today, that... It seems like it's changing where you can't talk about certain things. And I just think that's wrong. It's taking a backward step as human beings. It's important to be able to discuss anything. Even the worst topic that you can think of is nothing wrong with talking about it. It doesn't mean you, that you encourage people to do, you know, can I say, should I keep going, Stinky? Because... I do like the, these things. Look, I don't think I can stop you. Yeah, you can't, <laughs> can you? But you know, I want to say you can talk about the the let's say the thing that we were accused of. If anyone can remember that, you know, someone made a fake video with fake um, what do you call them? Text messages or uh, DMs, direct messages trying to pretend that you know we have an interest in younger people i'm trying to get around saying the actual word and you know it's something that you can't talk about that much these days and i think why not you shouldn't encourage people to do that sort of thing they fair enough but talking about it that's different anyway that's enough of that I'm getting on my soapbox at this point and I'm missing a lot of uh, the oh I've missed a lot of live chat there was a California thing set me up off uh, Red December lives in Minnesota which correct me if I'm wrong it's really oh well they no she said it have bad winters like Canada I was about to say Minnesota I think gets very very cold in winter so that's the other thing imagine being without a home in a cold area. That would be very difficult. My birthday is by your birthday. That's right. Uh, remember, Stinky, Kane and Ewan have birthdays that are very close together. I know I wrote it down before, but I'm just going to do it again because they are literally a day apart. Um, which one's which, though? Who's on the 25th and who's on the 26th? 
And sorry, I'm an Australian, not an American, so I'm doing 2610 and 2510. Alright, so just try writing that down. It is getting close, and Ewan's birthday as well. And sorry, I'm behind in the live chat. Sorry to hear that I have some relatives that we don't talk a lot, though. They don't like where I'm from. Well, that's not good. Your relatives shouldn't care where you're from, I would think. Relatives? Wow. Hey, I'm sorry I was late. I was at my uncle's. Ethanator is here. He's another person from the clan. So all that drama happened, Ethanator, but it's over with. Now Pa's gone. <laughs> and if Ethanator says the same thing as Rex Packs with no hint hint, gee, I'll be really happy at that point. Uh, oh yeah, I knew I had it at five. At, oh no, sorry guys, I'm way behind. I knew I had it at five at the end of the number. There you go, Ethanator, the giblet kicker king. Uh, I I live in a tent city for the homeless. Really, that's interesting. Do you feel safe where you are, Red December? I guess that's the first thing I'd be concerned about. Because you hear things, and I'm sure that there are good people that just are having a, oh. in a tough situation, but to be honest, they, they scare me a little bit. I have to reset the chapter? What? Why? What happened? Maybe I died too many times. <laughs> <laughs> and I already collect all the pages that it's saying. What? I just got attacked at the end. Well, you can, no, you can play the ad free. Cannot. Oh. Like, I press it before and then, you know, you have to pay. Oh. See that? I played many times already. <laughs> 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 so, I guess I have to reset it. But you'll be able to get through it quicker now, you know what to do. I don't know. Yeah, you will. And besides, that just means more scaring for you. Uh, how do you have wi fi Good spending time at my grandparents have been stuck in North... Carolina for two long months. I uh, hope your grandpa gets better, Kane. He's sick at the moment. Sorry to hear that. Uh, collect the, the paper art stink. Oh, gee, I'm not even reading out the things to you. You venting again, Peter? Yes! I've vented for quite a while in this stream. Uh, same, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm. Oh, so Ewan said 26th. Did I get that right? No. Uh, they're the wrong way around. I did let the cat in, right? I heard a meow just then. Oh, K-pop time's here. Hello, how are you? It's good to see you. How's your week been? And hope everything's good where you are in the world. Uh, Red December says she works in human services, so I've worked with them for 12 years. So I think it's okay. Like, I can't stop what happens in the the live chat and I'm very interested to know uh, some of these experiences that you've had read December um, because you know my experience is just sort of giving people money for food or Stink Pants used to give the homeless a lot of food when she was working in the city didn't you just from work and whatnot Left over, but not always depends if they there and they get it mm. <laughs> And uh, but the, I don't know if this is the right or wrong attitude that I would have. The, here's, a, here's a story from a guy uh, who was. This is when I was overseas. I was in uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands and was there with a friend of mine, and we were just sitting down on a um, park bench. And someone came. Uh, no, sorry, that's not right. Let me start again. <clears throat> I was in Amsterdam but not with my friend uh, at the, on that particular night and someone walked up to me and held his hand out and he had money in his hand so at first I thought he wanted me to change, exchange money or something I didn't quite understand and then I realised no he's asking for money because by the look of him he was definitely um, not clean and you know looks like he was living on the streets sort of thing and he couldn't really speak that much English a little bit um, as in a couple of words but he could speak a bit more French and he was from Armenia so uh, he would speak Armenian I guess so we ended up talking in French believe it or not 
with my very, very limited French and his <laughs> very limited French. Uh, and I worked out that he, he wanted some money, but I said to him, I will give you money to eat so, you know, you can't go and spend it on other stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I knew the word for eating, which is manja. So I'm just like, show Munch. me. Manja. 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 Munch, munch. <laughs> So I showed him the money and I said munch and pointed at a place to eat. Oh, they said goodbye, Ken, something, something. I was Kane leaving? What's he doing? What did your friend think about calling his little thing microscopic? They're asking that again. <laughs> I called him. He's, uh, I called all of those friends uh, fairly recently and he's the only one that hasn't returned the call yet. Maybe he saw the stream. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. I doubt that thing. <laughs> so no, I haven't gotten an answer from him yet. But uh, he's often uh, he's got you know three kids and uh, both him and his his wife work full time, so they don't have a lot of time to themselves. We we talk when we can. I'm sure he'll call me when he gets the chance. Uh, don't go after you buy. Oh, Ewan's going. That's why. Ah, you small Willy Wonka. <laughs> Is that going to be put as a, a new emoji? Something to do with the Willy Wonka or micros- microscopic Willy Wonka? Um. It's actually the wonky Willy. I should have said that first. Um. Not the Willy Wonka. He's got a wonky Willy. Okay. Oh, dear. Sorry for the, the la- ladies out there. I'm talking to you, Red December. Sometimes boys can be boys. You don't seem to care too much, though, do you, stink pants? <laughs> to all the ladies out there, I said to Red December. Mm-hmm. And to the stink pants. <laughs> Cheer up, my lad's size doesn't... Oh, my goodness. Right. <laughs> next, next, okay. And I ruined chocolate for Ethan later. I've tried some uh, Willy Wonka chocolate. It's not bad. Actually, it's... In terms of the American chocolates, I'd have to say I like that a lot more than... I think they have Werther's. Is it Werther's chocolate or Withers? I don't really like that one. It tastes a bit more like dark chocolate, but Willy Wonka's is a bit more like Aussie chocolate. Are you in or out, cat? Okay, just bear with me for a second, guys. The cat wants something. Oh, you are out. Yeah. That's why she was just jumping out the window and coming back. Red December says you're doing a great job there, Stinky. Mm-hmm. I agree. So you now that you many times. <laughs> what already? Yeah. Since the reset. Oh, not not since the reset. Yeah, yet. there you go. Aunt Stink, give us a scary story. Oh, like what? I'm trying to think between you and I have you, you had a well what about the other day when I, <laughs> the other day when I was hiding and you came up the stairs I like to try and scare stink pants she's not easily scared are you I'm easy scared what and are you talking about difficult to that's creep why up you on. give me this game <laughs> that's true <clears throat> okay I should say uh, it's hard to creep up on you. You're usually aware of me when I try to try to give you a scare. When you're that big. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a silent walker, sort of. Do you have any scary stories? Has anything scary happened to you in your life? No, nope, she's concentrating again. Well, what about the live chat? Scariest story. And it can either, I guess, be real or not real. I've already told of just about every story I tell is scary. Because they're so boring. Telling the old boring stories there. I don't mind this game, Stinky. It looks pretty good, to be honest. Hey, Poodle, what did you really think about my Clanmore League idea and what did Stink Pants think? Oh, so we'll talk about that now just because it's so much easier to type to uh, than to type. Um, yes, we both liked your Clanmore League idea, but... I've been since after what happened yesterday. Uh, what do you I've, mean? 
What idea? Oh, just that if you don't follow the Clanmore League rules, then you shouldn't be included. So I need to make an adjustment to this whole uh, cleaning up aspect. The, the logic is really simple. You don't clean up until there's no one else below you. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. But then they go. They might go higher. <laughs> well, if they want to go, they shouldn't go higher. They should be either, unless they're confident to three star. But does it make sense to say don't clean up if there are people lower than you? If there's no one lower than you, then fine, go clean up. Pretty straightforward, makes sense, right? Then anyone can play a clean up role, but you have to wait so that the lower guys get the chance to attack. Maybe that's what I should have said at the very start, just to make it really simple. Because I did not like what um, Pa was saying about me, because it's just not true. You know, I don't don't play the clean up role for self benefit and everything else. I don't like doing the clean up. I have to, because it's what's good for the clan. It's not what's good for me personally. Oh, I'm going on another rant. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. So, hopefully, well, there's a lot of Clash of Clans players here. So, firstly, do you know what clean up means? And secondly, does it make sense to say don't clean up bases until there's no one below you? Because it makes it difficult for the people below you to, to win their attacks. I need to go to pee. Oh, here we go. Stink Pants is taking a break. Oh, Rex Pax is... So, Rex Pax, I'm going to ask you, because this is a thing that, uh, you know, we had the issue with Godson and then Parr. It was the same issue. The, I had a lot of difficulty explaining what clean-up means. And to me now, after thinking about it yesterday... It just means you don't clean up until there's no one else below you. After that, clean up all you want. you got to wait for it. Because we were trying to define it yesterday to wait until the last hour. So that uh, that was problematic. Because, you know, you don't want everyone to wait till the last hour. So just tell me, you guys, does that make sense? Oh, Ethanator says it already does. Uh... Red December said, when I first came to your channel, I thought Stink Pants was a robot forced to play a game. Uh, That would be not inaccurate, I'll say, Red December. Right, hang on. I better not do anything while Stink Pants is taking a break just because I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't want her to lose lives. So sorry, you're not going to see anything on the screen, but that'll allow me to, to look at the chat. My scary story all come from dreams like the time I saw my own grave and it said, oh wow, that is creepy. Rex Pax says, says the best thing is I always say, those lower attack, 1 to 7 into the game. Totally agree with that, Rex Pax. Lower guys should attack first. Uh, sorry about my second attack this war. I was confident but my record broke too soon. That doesn't matter. Uh, when I talked to you, so I knew this. So, yeah, hopefully that's the thing. If everyone that plays Clash of Clans can understand what I'm saying and agree with it, then hopefully there will no longer be any more drama because I'm over it. I don't think there will be now that uh, Pa's gone because he instigated a lot of drama. Man. But uh, anyway, we'll see what happens at the next one because... In all honesty, I don't like Clan War Leagues. I dread them every time they come. So, and I doubt that that many people are going to join the Discord just to be able to do the, the Clan, like, talk about these things because, um, I don't know, they not that they're lazy or anything, They just it's an extra effort to go and do that. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, but... I appreciate the fact that you guys are giving me input with that because it's been an ongoing issue for a long time. Now, Ethanator, the scariest dream I had is the one where I'm falling, so I kind of wake up. I've had the exact same dream before. It's a very common one. So, in fact, I studied Carl Jung dream... uh, What was the book called? I can't even remember it. Dream Analogies or something... So it's an actual subject that you can study in philosophy. What are you doing? I didn't. All I did was take off the map. I was going to play and then I realised, ah, oh, 
you know, you might, I might die on you, so I didn't want to mess it up for you is what I'm saying. So, yeah, the, the falling dream is very common. The flying dream is very common. Uh, running around with no clothes is very common. Mm-hmm. And then you can have recurring dreams. I've got it happened, plenty. It happened you have those? To me before. I yeah. have recurring dreams too. I have a number of them. I used to just. You be... are... have too many kind of dreams. True, but, uh, and I'm a firm believer in this, that you can train yourself to, to dream. I believe I have, that uh, my memory of them is quite good because I've trained myself that way, that I like to remember what happens in dreams. So over the years, I've developed a, a method of being able to do it. Mm-hmm. And also dream about particular, I can dream about particular things if I really, really want to, to try and help clear the mind. Uh, so there you go. Wait, what? I liked my saying that I told you. I liked my saying that I told you yesterday. Running, yeah, you know that you you dream you might be at work or something or school and you don't have any clothes on. It's a very common dream, and they all have different meanings. I'm sorry, I studied this so long ago now I can't remember any of it. But um, yeah, you can you can look into. The, the common dreams that people have and it's a non-cultural thing as well it doesn't matter where you are in the world that people will have the, the same ones do you have any like belief like for example in my country if you dream of snake that means you will find your soulmate like it's a sign of something um If you dream of something, it's a sign. Mm. Well, we've already had people sort of mention things, uh, Penguin in particular, in a chat where it was a sign. You know what I mean? Like the the dreaming of the uncle. Mm-hmm. So I want to say, and this is just my opinion. I don't, I'm not saying that this is a fact or anything, but <coughs> in my opinion, I do believe that dreams have meaning. And you can try and investigate what that meaning is, or you don't, you know, or you can ignore it, like most people do. But again, that's why I've trained myself. I like to investigate what it could possibly mean. So it's kind of what you're saying, but not quite. No, because it's more cultural thing. Like the whole country think the same. If you dream of snake, then it's a sign that you will meet your soulmate soon. Hmm. I haven't. Well, Something did you? Like What about arch nemesis? I don't know. Or there's another one. If you dream of black dog, I think this one, <laughs> I I don't believe in this one that much. But this is my friend told me. If you dream of black dog, that means it's not a good sign. You might have a quarrel. As opposed to a black cat, which mm-hmm. is like a superstitious thing. A ah, black cat in Thailand is actually good. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Goodness, which is the opposite for us. Um, no, I'd have to say there's nothing like that here. I don't believe... I've never even heard of Australians saying anything about dreams meaning a particular thing or having a particular superstition behind it. Running around naked. They seem to be stuck on that one. Is there, am I the only one that's had that dream? What, I know I'm which not. Which one? What kind of dream? Where you, you might be dreaming that you're at work or at school or university or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you realize that you're not wearing any clothes. <laughs> You've never had that. I don't think. I know so. I'm not the only person that's had that dream. <laughs> My goodness, I'm the only one that's had that dream. <laughs> Here we go. Penguin asked Rex Pax, "Do you like Earl Grey?" <laughs> I might have to get a small packet of Earl Grey, a small packet of five or something, just to. I know I'm not going to enjoy it, but I'll still drink it. My goodness! Some dreams are powerful too," says Rex Pax. "You got, uh, you got to bed well without any scratch. You dream getting a bruise and wake up with lots of bruises. That's true too. I've had that before. Huh? Where you dream, you you end up scratching yourself in the the night, or you know maybe bumping yourself. So you end up dreaming about it, and then you wake up and you have that scratch. I've had that before." And then a really, this happens to both you and I. You even said it the other night. 
that you could he hear me um I think it was I was watching the computer or something when we were in bed and you woke up and said oh turn that thing off you you made me dream about it do you remember saying that to me I think so so and that I happens I can't remember what's that the for me the most common one is hearing a song let's say that you fall asleep with the radio on which you know I've done before and then in the dream you will dream listening to that song and often you'll wake up and it's that song that you're, you're hearing so that certainly happens I used to use people might think I'm a little bit crazy here but I used to use dreaming as a study tool did you know that I think I told you that before so what I would do, and I'm not saying it's 100% effective, but it did certainly work in some way for me, that I would record myself uh, reading notes for an exam. So you're doing your exam study and you've got all your notes written out. I'd put a, oh gee, this is showing my age, but if anyone even knows what a tape recorder is and a cassette tape is, that's what I grew up with. So you just record on a cassette tape reading out all your notes and you would play it while you're when you go to bed and so getting ready for sleep and some of it would filter in not much what from the first night man it should stop slap back book this time forever what ah uh, what happened you're on the next level yeah yay no yes <laughs> Stinky, she's oh. made it through. Ah. <laughs> you go, Stinky. Come on, on some level I know you're enjoying this game. No. Or well, strangest dream experiences. Have you had a strange dream experience at all? I can tell you that I have strange experiences when you have the strange dreams. My goodness, you do some weird things when in your sleep. I've had conversations with you that you don't remember any of it. Like actual conversations, not just one word replies. And then the next morning I'd say, do you remember talking about me? No. Nah. <laughs> Sometimes Stink Pants scares me because she will sit bolt upright, open her eyes and I'm like, what's wrong? And she doesn't remember any of it the next day. Now, you don't even respond to me when it when that happens. You don't answer me, oh. even though you're wide. It looks like you're wide awake. And you know what that makes me think? What sleepwalk, sleep talk stuff? Because that's what sleepwalkers do. They're asleep, but their eyes are open, and they just walk around. It's creepy. Have you ever seen that? No. I've seen it before. Where I was, me? <laughs> uh, not you haven't sleepwalked before. But that sitting up bolt upright in bed is enough for me. <laughs> it's like you're possessed. But yeah, I was staying at a, a uh, family's place one night and one of the, the girls, one of the daughters went to bed early. The rest of us were all up and we were just sitting in the living room and then she came in in her nightie and started walking around and talking. And it was like, I said something like, Tanya, what are you doing? And... The father said, oh, don't worry about it. She does this. She's just sleepwalking. So don't disturb her. She'll just go back to bed in a minute. I've never seen anything like it before. So there you go. And I've had, I've got a friend that actually does it. I've seen him do it once. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Oh, wow. Red <laughs> December said I fell asleep. It's like ASMR. There you go. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Maybe I'm that People, people watch our videos late at night. Here we go, radio voice. Uh, sure thing. Come and tune in to the Poo Dot and Stink Pants live stream. We'll put you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky's here. Hola. Oh, we've got a hola, so I better do... Actually, someone might be quicker to, to do it in a different language. Oh no, I'm slow. I had to. Oh no, no, no! What happened? My original thing's gone already. Quick, someone say something in Spanish or Portuguese. I'm Hola. too slow. Hola. Come, Gracias. Come esta. 
I should have said that. That's, I don't know, a tiny bit of Spanish. Tiny. Oh, not that one. We've got to go back in here. Mm. There we go. Tu eres el que comento en mi video. I think that means thank you for commenting on my video. Gee, I wonder if that is what it means. I'm sure there's... Oh, there you go. Penguin can speak a little bit of... Uh, is it Spanish or is it Portuguese? Because I think I translated in Spanish. Actually, let me just switch it to Portuguese just in case. And then we can do a comparison between the two languages as well while we're at it. trying that one too there they are very different so I'm not too sure which one's which aren't stink pants just scream ah <laughs> off my trousers <laughs> well, I'm not sure if Ricky's still here but we tried at least thank you penguin I saw that he can put in a message rather quickly much quicker than I could oh and it looks like my live chat's a bit behind have you ever guys ever dreamt about something kind of weird and uncomfortable and then you wake up uh, wake up with it in the morning and you're uncomfortable but you don't know why so I'm not going to say what it is Ethan Ada but the answer to me is a 100% definite yes but I do know why it's uncomfortable and it's a very it's like a not a recurring dream but there's just something that oh. I dream about that's just wrong on every level it makes me terribly uncomfortable it's not true in my real life but for some reason the subconscious just wants to put it in there and I can't say anything more about it because I just don't I hate it when I have those dreams. I don't hate many things, but that's one thing that I absolutely despise because it does make me very uncomfortable. I don't understand anything of that. Oh, I'll tell you after the stream if you really want to know, but I don't like it. I'll just say that. Uh, the two years of Spanish paid off in the end. There you go. And I did four years of French and probably no less French than, than uh, Penguin knows Spanish. So there you go. And thanks for doing that because I am very slow. Uh, in one of my dreams, I met American me. Have you ever done that? Dreamt of about yourself what? or of yourself? So it's not you being the, like say playing the game, right? This is you playing the game, walking around. Mm -hmm. But instead you're dreaming that you're in the game. If I can make that comparison. Like a third person? Yeah, like it's a you're you in the you're seeing yourself in the dream as opposed to being part of the dream. You see the distinction I'm trying to make there? Yep. Have you ever had that? Yeah. Really? Third person. Yeah. yeah. Can. I think I have too, but to be honest, I'm, that's pushing me a little bit because usually I am in the dream. I don't dream of myself as much. But that's an interesting one. That's a new one. <coughs> you can, if you want, I don't want to make you... Oh, no, 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 I, I can't. Like, as much as I am like to be as open and honest as I can with the live stream, that's not something I'm willing to talk about. I'm not even sure I want to tell Stink Pants that one. Because it's just, you know, I would hate to think of um, whatever the meaning might be behind it. But it's definitely not the dream itself. I'll say that. I have no interest in that in my real life. So, there you go. I once had a dream where I was remembering my day, but it was me in the third person. I think you might have meant birthday. So, there you go. Penguins had a third person dream as well. It's more common than I would have thought. I wonder if there's something that, you know, if I'm... Oh, here we go. Hello, you're the one who commented, the truth is I don't know English... Uh, okay, so that's okay. Just bear with me. 
kitchen, music room, parlor. Although Penguin might be able to answer more quickly. Just bear with me. So hopefully, I did this before with a Russian guy that was pretty patient. So, uh, mate, she doesn't speak English. That's okay. So, faster at this but I'm not I'm just a little bit slow there we go look at this we're having a bit of a Spanish chat here in amongst the English uh, kid do you know any other Spanish you don't I don't care por favor, por favor. it means please por favor okay I don't know much else I don't know any or maybe excuse me I'm not sure what it means oh goodness <laughs> Uh, gracias, mi amigo. In one of my dreams, my dog was like the humans, and she bought me like I was a dog. So the dogs owned us like we were dogs. I was uncomfortable, but liked it because I got to be lazy like a dog. <laughs> That's funny. Say something there, Stinky. Oh, Here we go. Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, you did get scared, Stinky. You scared me. I don't even know what happened. Old oh, Stinky... Stinky scare or what happened? I can't believe you actually... He just there! You jumped like, that time. He just there! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, is this... I'm hiding. On the... Like, I can't believe I just did hiding <laughs> it at the right time. <laughs> hey, go away already. Please. <laughs> come on. <laughs> on the scale of one to scary, where are, where are you? Is it taking over as the most scary game? Uh, not yet, but it's getting there. Oh, how many? I got a ghoul, I got a whatever the clown here. Oh, this is too much. Is there more than one scary thing that you gotta avoid? I got three. <laughs> like one is like a wolf and then a ghoul and a clown. And they're not going anywhere. Come on guy, walk Wait. somewhere. See, this guy is just stay there. What do I do? You see, he drops up and down, mate. So I guess when he's up, you're okay to go. No. Oh. Are you sure? Look at the timing of it. See? And then you run. And then he'll drop after that. You see? This will be about timing, I reckon. And uh, you probably should have done it during that time because the other two have disappeared, right? Oh, there's that, and that blue thing is another one, right? No, this, uh, this is one cloud. I just need to go point to the right direction first, like... And run! Yep. That's... Let's oh, see, that's yeah. another one. See, this is what I'm saying. It's This will Three be about... Three things be about, I... Oh, werewolf! This will be about timing, Stinky. Yeah, that but this werewolf. guy keeps staying here. What should I do? He just keeps staying here. Yeah, but the, when he's up high, it's fine. What do you mean up high? Like he's, you're talking about this one that jumps up and down? He's not jumping up, he's just doing this. So when it's, I would say when it's up is when you run. <coughs> that would be my guess. You don't do it when he's down, you do it when he's up. Oh man, this is hard. I'm not playing after this chapter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that we got this game going. I love scaring the stinky. That's what you want. How do you punish a monster? 
You can't. You can't even hit them. You limit their screen time. But um, <laughs> where does a ghost go on vacation? Malibu. Oh, gee, I'm getting scared watching it. <laughs> You're fine, Stinky. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe you can uh, live stream PUBG COD. So we've actually live streamed both of those already, Rex Packs. And what tends to happen is if we have a game that kind of fails on us, we definitely switch over to those sorts of games because we get mm. asked to play them. So we'll do that. But I'm guessing uh, we might have to start introducing playing the, you know, repeat games because we do get asked to play, obviously, Clash of Clans a lot. Uh, PUBG and COD a lot and Among Us now we get asked to play a lot so we might have to do those again just do another repeat but it's trying to balance it between that and having that niche of constantly playing new games because on YouTube you kind of have to do that as well you have to um, pick a niche sort of just so that the algorithm picks you up and recognises that, oh, that's what your channel's about. And so we've gone, not just gaming live streams, but constantly new Let games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other thing is, if you have Twitch or you watch Twitch, you can join us there. And I have been trying to do more Twitch streams, albeit unsuccessfully, but... Stink Pants is going to have be able to put a little bit more work in soon. So, you know, end of November, end of October or something, I think she's able to do more stuff. So the other alternative is Halloween. To do... <laughs> Release me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why are you doing that? Because it's funny. Witch laugh and you're not even a witch. Halloween, relieve me. You just want Halloween to be over so you stop getting scared in games. We love it. Everyone loves to scare the stink pants. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I've wanted to play that, but it's not free. Because I've tried to download it a few times. You've got to pay to play for that one. Uh, and that's not like in-game purchases. You've actually got to purchase the game. And old Uncle Poodot with the problems on YouTube at the moment is the I didn't want to tell Arnie Stink there, but the revenue's gone down as well. Everything's just gone down. The views have gone down, the watch time's gone down, revenue's gone down. I can can't really hang on to subscribers at the moment. It's crazy. I don't know if I've done something to trigger, you know, oh I've been blackballed or blacklisted. Because we were going along fine for two years, and then all of a sudden it's it's getting more difficult and it's more work. So um, yeah, so we will do it, Rex Packs. Like we will have to start doing these games from scratch again. But ideally, uh, oh, if you're not in the Discord as well, that helps. Because you know we can organise beforehand, saying all right, if you want to join us in, say for example, COD. Um, then you know say something in discord and we can organize it so that you're around so that's the invite for discord uh, I gave you the twitch link already so that's above there uh, but it's the same everything's the same it's poo dot stink pants for, I'll do twitch again but I just posted the link alternately if you have a look at the um, the read more description like the description on any video the read more part it has all of the links there or even on the home on the youtube about page it'll have the links there as well so i do i've been practicing with uh call of duty black ops i think just on my own i was waiting for stinky to join me on that but she hasn't yet so that's one thing that I do want to do with her. We, we haven't done a multiplayer game, uh, not online multiplayer, but just between the two of us. I want to do that. Isn't it stink? We do that a couple of times. Spidey's back. Be Bob, he says. 
Stinky, you love the fear, don't you? No. I'm so upset it's the end of the stream. We are getting close. Because Stinky just doesn't want to play this game anymore. Because it's so good at scaring her. Isn't it, Stink? Do not say out loud, Uncle Poodle. Um, she will... If I tried to do that in this stream, Penguin, she would probably react by smacking me at that point. So I wouldn't risk it because, you know, she's already on edge. I can tell she's a little bit rigid at the moment. She's definitely got a bit of fear in her. So <laughs> it's good to see. <laughs> that made you laugh though, didn't it? Because it's true. Uh, shush. <laughs> Hey, Peter, can you read what I set up a few comments? Oh, did I miss stuff? I didn't think I missed anything. Oh, I did. So, and uh, the maker of this product does not want to see it. The buyer does not use it. And the user does, uh, and the user does it see it. I think I understood that. What is it? A coffin. Hey, Peter, are you going to put... <laughs> uh, do you mean in the thumbnail or do you mean in the actual stream because I think he knows a little bit about what I do I try to mix it up so that we don't develop a reputation with ye old thumbnails I know Penguin's pointed it out before as well but you can't argue with it that uh, if you put an attractive girl on the, the thumbnails they do tend to do better but it doesn't mean that other ones don't do well. We've got plenty of other videos that get views on them that have nothing to do with the raunchy stuff. So it's only every now and again I do that just to, you know, uh -oh. try and bring in the views a bit. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I understand why you get scared in this game, Stinky. I just glanced over and saw that. <laughs> You can't tell me this isn't better than Granny. Granny's just Granny. <sighs> or Granny and Grandpa, it's just Granny and Grandpa. This thing has heaps of scary stuff popping out. But, I don't know, in a way it's easier because you don't have to listen, you know. Well, you. it might be easier if I can listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a dear... Anyway! You get in there and, and put the fear in the, the enemy, or whatever you call them there. Uh, G and Crow Ethanator, they will be uh, British. Oh, this is too fast. Oh, jeez. I just jumped again just looking at the screen. See, I'm not used to it. I'm just glancing and there's a jump scare right there. Smacking me in the face. you got to warn me, Stinky. I don't know. He's going to come in. Oh, yeah. I guess that's why it's a jump scare. <laughs> uh, uh, so they say, yes, the thumbnail. I don't know if I should. It's a little bit early for a raunchy thumbnail. I only did one. Uh, what was that? King of Crabs. And they're, they're, in all honesty, I do try to make it relate. But Ethan Ada worked it out. He's like saying, you know, you're going to put in a sexy ghost. Because at least it kind of relates to the game. That's the how I do it. He's a smart boy, he's our Ethanator. Well, all the DLG is smart, really. I'm not saying that he's uh, smart. Well, I'm just going to stop. I'm going to put my foot in it. They're all smart. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, sorry for being loud, Spidey. I can get a little bit scared myself just watching Stinky play. Particularly when I'm not, not expecting. Because at the start of the game, I'm just looking over. You're just walking around. Nothing much is going on. But now... It's After different. werewolf, then go. Ah, oh, this is too much. Too much. <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't want to go anymore. I don't want to go anymore. This is what we. This is what they all came for. The fear in the stick pants, forcing <sighs> her to play a scary game. <laughs> Why? Why? You know, we're not going to do the, the face cams. I've got to do it all descriptive. 
Uh, Stink Pants is literally taking a break and trying to breathe deep and calm herself right now. She doesn't want to look at the screen. She's that scared. Uh, I just got itchy eye. Ah, uh, you can make every excuse you it's want. It's past. That's why I can look. <laughs> <laughs> Keep making those excuses. I made a joke. What kind of facial hair does a goat have? A goatee. Should I go? Should I not? What do I do? Ugh. <sighs> Run, run away like the wind. Yeah, what strategy to that? Where can I hide? This is quite narrow walkway. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, see the day he did do that. He is very smart to pick out stink pants in the clan. <laughs> yeah, your cover's been blown there, stinky. What? I don't have cover. Yeah, not, not for a while really, is it? People can figure it out. Particularly if they join the, the streams, they'll know who you are. Next, we'll get this. Uh, this stream has been interrupted by Stink Pants having a heart attack. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> it's true, though. Oh, nature's love is here. Hi. Here we go again. I'm sorry that the, the stream is very much turned into a clan stream because Rex Pax is here, too. Uh, Gupler and Ethanator as well. So I'm not too sure if you saw any of the stuff that happened yesterday. I started typing out a message to you in Discord and then I thought, oh, I'll, I'll talk about it after I've calmed down a bit. But, you know, it happened. All of the predictions that we talked about before happened. Um, I just want you to know that after the Godson situation, I listened very carefully to what you had to say. So with the par situation, I tried to be, you know, calm and, and relaxed and try to be very patient and tolerant and all of that kind of stuff. But uh, he kept going, you know, and started, started saying things. So in the end, uh, I didn't even kick him out. Someone else did. So, yeah, he's gone, which was to be expected. So, I just, if you did see any of it, I'd like to know your thoughts. Uh, if you didn't see any of it, uh, I guess you weren't going to be that surprised anyway. Now, sorry to be repeating myself, but it's just because uh, nature lovers here. I was also thinking about how to explain that whole cleanup thing. And the, the easiest definition I've got for it that hopefully everyone can understand is, look, fine, anyone can clean up. Just make sure that there is no one below you in the list before you clean up. Does that make sense? And so far, both Ethanator and Rexpax have said that that actually makes sense. So you have to wait until there's no one below you. And then if there's no one below you, then fine, go and clean up. Because it seems to cause a lot of confusion, doesn't it? And maybe my initial definition wasn't good enough because we certainly don't want everyone waiting till the last hour in the hope that they can uh, do the star cleanup. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully uh, whatever happened in the, the clan chat yesterday wasn't too bad for the clan. There was a lot of back and forth. It was a lot of drama but it was to be expected. So, wow, that's great. We have mates here. Well, I saw the clan, uh, saw the chat later in clan. So, yeah, just tell me what you think. I noticed, yeah, par continued arguments back to back. That's true too. I was trying to resolve it as quickly as I could, but he wanted to keep going. But I knew he would. I think, you know, everyone that has gotten an A par probably knew that he was going to do that I knew he would um, I hated how he tried turning it around saying that you said you don't have a yeah so <laughs> Ethanator did see it and that was the, the funny thing where he insulted me but then when I said look I wish you well good luck and I wish you well he said that I insulted him so I'm like what okay like that's the kind of person that you can't really you can't rational have a rational conversation with it's just not possible and this isn't the only example 
Like I've, I've had to do it with him before. So I'm not trying to badmouth him. Like that's the thing. Like I'm really not trying to let per, it become personal. Because at the end of the day, um, I won't deny the fact that I'm glad he's gone. I've wanted to get rid of him for a long time. I don't think that was any secret. But, you know, try to be patient. Try to show tolerance. This is why I keep these people around. They teach me to be more calm. But, you know, it gets to the point where sometimes you just have enough. And I think Ethan Ada makes a good point. Like, it's good that that drama's over. Um, he was the cause of a lot of drama in the clan, really. And I'm not saying that again to attack him. That's just a fact. So hopefully that's that's okay. Now, what's Nature Lover saying? He didn't want to. Yeah, he didn't want to listen and understand. It even seems he was enjoying arguing with you. I agree with all of that. That he was doing it to put. We talked about it last night. That you know, I've got a. Uh, person in the family that likes to do that they like to push your buttons just to get a rise out of you but the funny thing is like if he actually knew that what we were thinking that he was just doing ex he was playing into our hands because this is what we wanted we wanted an excuse to get rid of him and we thought oh well he's been because i don't want you to think that i don't think that loyalty is important because i do it's the same with Godson. I feel bad about him because he and I had back and forth, but he's nowhere on the level of some of the other people that annoy me. Like, they, I can get annoyed by people, but I can also set that aside, you know? Stink Pants annoys me all the time! <laughs> and I'm sure I annoy her too. Yep. So, Uncle Poodot, I've finally solved it. Garlic or the kitty cat? Oh! Well, hang on. You're talking about food and non-food. So i got to go... Oh, Penguin has figured it out. He just asked me garlic or kitty cat. Uh -huh. I can't answer that. What do you mean? You're going to kill kitty cat for garlic? <laughs> garlic is very important to my life. <laughs> well, you can't be a vampire either. Oh, yeah. So when he asked about vampire or zombie, I could never answer vampire. It's got to be zombie so I can eat garlic. It's oh, not... Well, zombie can't really eat oh, any it's... wedgies, though. <laughs> True. So Ethan Ada said it's not personal because everyone had some issues with him. There you go. It just makes me feel better when other people say that so that it's not just me. I, I, know, I love the fact that Rex Pax said it was great. <laughs> He's not even in the clan and, at the moment, but he said it was great. So there you go. I should have done it a long time ago, really. And then garlic. I've got to get back to you on that one, Penguin. I haven't forgotten. Uh, if you want to see something uh -oh. scary, go on uh, YouTube and search of hee hee meme. Hey, Peter, I have an inspirational quote that I, I want your thoughts on. So here it is. What comes easy doesn't last long, but what lasts long doesn't come easy. So what do you think? I think it's true to a degree. Some things come easy, some things don't. Um... The reason, I'll give you an example. You can have a natural-born athlete that mm -hmm. can... Oh. They don't have to put in the work that other athletes do and they will dominate and have a long career. So it came easy and it lasted a long time. You know? There, there are people out there like that. They're just gifted athletes. But by the same token, you know, putting in hard work and... Uh, Achieving that thing that isn't easy, but actually achieving it, it does tend to last a long time too. So I'll say it's a good quote. I'll just say that there are exceptions to it. So there you go. Uh, Michael Jackson is not that scary. Well, true. Will will it be peace in the clan f from now? I hope so. Oh, you never know. <laughs> but I don't have <laughs> issues with any. He was the only person in the clan that I actually had issues with. Like the only one I had a, for now, yeah. But you know, oh you well, know someone new future. might, yeah. But everyone that's been there now for a long time, they're all good. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't complain or argue. They accept mm -hmm. that you know that we try to build a good clan full of good people. Mm -hmm. And even Godson, like, yeah, he annoys me. I can't deny that. Every now and again, when he gets argumentative and a little bit cocky, I don't like those personality traits. But it's not enough to say, I don't like him. There's a difference. 
you know, but hate, no, I don't hate anyone, so that's even stronger. This is too many monsters, I have to... You love it! It's four already! Ah. So that's the, the hope, uh, nature's lover, that now things will be much more relaxed and there won't be any more. There probably will be future drama because people come and go and you don't know who's going to be next. But I'd say at least with the group that's Uh-oh. been there for a while now that everything will be fine, I hope. Hey, Pudot, uh, what do you... Am I kind of my chill clan mate who's active and doesn't lose my temper? There's quite a few of them, Ethan Ada. You are definitely one. Nature love is another one. So that's... I don't think she minds me saying this, but that's Gupler in the clan. I read December's still here. I keep making her sleep. Even though I'm screaming into the, the uh, microphone sometimes, this scare jump scare game is scaring me. I have a fear with that type of uh, Michael Jackson penguin. And Red December, I don't know if it's good or bad, but it's also very late where she is. So, you know, not surprised. And I'm boring. But I still want to get back to this kitty, kitty cat or garlic. We're talking about the rest of the life here, right? Because on the one hand, I could say, you know, kitty cat, I'm probably going to outlive kitty cat. Maybe. Okay. Which means what happens at the end end point? Like, I still can't have garlic after that? <laughs> I don't think... Uh, well, actually, I was going to say I don't think, but I do think Penguin has realised how important garlic actually is to me in my life. <laughs> it is extremely important. Uh, it is... I hope it... Maybe that's why I haven't suffered really bad health things yet. I don't know. I'm but wondering what is this sign mean? <laughs> is that something that's like a puzzle that you have to figure out? I don't think it's this, but yeah. So, uh, look, I've got to go with Kitty Cat, you know. I have to make a sacrifice. Huh? As much, well, as much as I don't want to. I... You, you sacrifice... Sacrifice what? Kitty cat? <laughs> hey, I, no, I sacrifice garlic for the kitty cat. Because, you know, again, going back to philosophy and what I've studied, I studied uh, love, the five loves. Uh-huh. And there's different, the love of garlic and the love of a loved one, like an animal or a, uh-huh. a person, they're two different types of loves. Okay. It's not the same type of love. I agree uh-huh. with that. Okay. And, you know, I'd, she's she's my daughter. <laughs> what can I do? As much as I would kind of like to sacrifice that rat bag cat for garlic, I couldn't. You know, if you, if you had some nasty person standing in front of me saying, I've got some garlic and I've got your cat, which one's it going to be? I think I'd have to go with the cat. Darn you, kitty cat. Why did you make me love you so much? Actually, darn you, stink pants. Why did you get us to bring her home? She was your choice, not mine, wasn't it? And midnight for Red December. Sorry for keeping you up so late, Red December. It, uh, we hit two hours now. Uh, I you... can't get away of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get away from <laughs> this. Monster thinking. I am glad that we got a scary one for you. Compared to Scary Teacher, because you definitely weren't that scared by that one. Uh, Ren- oh, gee, I'm a little bit behind in the chat again. It's almost 1am for you, Red. That's true. Game Or 12, I think she said. What it's a scary game, cow? Nature Lover. When you hear it stink pants like this, she does have a bit of genuine fear. Uh, Red December, I've done it. He didn't actually automatically say garlic. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> In fact, I actually chose a kitty cat after much deliberation. <laughs> that does show you how how much. Well, they really know. There'd be no hesitation, would there? I just thought, hang on, you can't can't even say. He's right. I couldn't say garlic straight away. I had to. I shouldn't have had to think about it though. Uh... You know what I mean. I should just straight up be saying kitty cat. You, you think? <laughs> Begrudgingly. <laughs> She's naughty too. Garlic's never naughty to me. Except for that one time on the pizza. It's never been naughty to me. 
Uh, I'm kind of happy Asif is gone just because he was nice but really high maintenance. Yeah, well, he was another one that... Uh, well, there you go. Nature Lover again did that for me because I don't know what he said, but I suspected it was an insult. And Gupla obviously knew what he said, so... Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, he seemed nice enough until he did that. That's why I say it. You never quite know. Everyone's... Par Look, to be honest, when Pa first joined the clan, and most of you probably weren't there at the time... I uh, oh, actually know they have been there for a long time, but he seemed nice when I first interacted with him. But it changed fairly quickly and it was slow too. Like he didn't show what he was about straight away, but it just came out more and more. So there you go. Um, yeah, oh, and I'll say this as well because you're all co's. Like if you want to kick people, just kick them and replace them, or if you want to uh, say it's a co and you can't kick them then just let me know but I think most of the well most of the co's <laughs> par was a co <laughs> uh, yeah just let me know and I'll demote them and then you can kick them I have no problem with that like I'm not trying to control the clan I'd said this privately to someone I think it was Ethanator that you know I'd never considered it to be my clan did I you can even vouch for that. I've always said it's our clan. It's not my clan. So everyone's involved. That's why there's so many co's and, you know, such loyalty. I want them to be one big happy family, just like the DLG. It's like... How too much? <laughs> to you? I'm supposed to be doing a little bit of commentary though there, Stinky. Otherwise, it'll be a silent stream. Uh, would you rather lose your foot or have no internet? No, I'd probably go with no internet. I'm old. I did have to think about that for a little bit just because of how heavily I use the internet these days. <laughs> but that's only because of YouTube. If it wasn't for YouTube, I probably wouldn't use it as much, you know, just for reading and things. Yeah. So, no, I'd, I'd keep all my limbs if I could. He chose a kitty cat and not garlic. Garlic, I've done it, lads. That's true, after much deliberation. <laughs> All right, cat, you won. Done it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get something very personal uh, to me for that. Something that I really love. But that's garlic too. Kick stink pants to the curb or garlic? Oh, I'd kick stink pants to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ace, if that boy uh, is in different level, he kept on saying to take him in war, regardless thinking about clan water, where... Uh, clan or league to win see nature, nature lover I'm keeping to changing between that and uh, I keep saying gulper and guppler but guppler she's right and that's uh, another thing that you have to consider thankfully Ethanator I mean get this Ethanator asked he's a very good attacker he could actually do cleanups if he was you know town hall 13 or whatever I'm sure he could destroy lower bases um, and he didn't say a thing and he had to wait for two wars to do it and still ended up, I think, in the top three for stars whilst not being involved in two wars. That's how good he did. And he was at the bottom. And he knew, like, he was a Town Hall 11. I didn't want to take him either. Not because I don't want him in the war, but just because he's a Town Hall 11. That ASIF guy was a Town Hall 9 and he was begging to be put in. And Pa put him in. And then someone else took him out. <laughs> so, you know, that's the other funny thing that uh, he insulted me. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah, I didn't put him in, but I didn't take him out either. So someone else, thankfully, was like, no way do you put someone that low in. Because it's not going to help us. It makes it easier for the other team to win. So spot on with that one, Nature Lover, I've got to say. Uh, I've got to go to bed. Sorry, guys. I wish I was able to be there here the whole stream. I'm sorry that we started late too because it's daylight savings for us. So we can start earlier. It was me that started late. Not even stinky for once. I did blame it on you in the Discord though. Of course. <laughs> well, they keep saying wake stinky up, so I wasn't going to disagree. No wonder. We are the champions. Penguin, is that the favourite song? No, it's for Kitty Over Garlic. 
Uh, yeah, it's our clan because it's a well-oiled machine. I, we, I was thinking about that too, to actually contact Supercell and say, look, we need a message board that can be permanent in the clan. I'm dead. Because the, the live chat, whatever you put in there disappears. Whatever you put in clan mail disappears and the clan description is too small. Like if you want to have proper clan rules that everyone can follow, mm -hmm. you need more than what's in the clan description. It doesn't give you enough to write that. Right. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'd ever do it, but you know, you can't... Make it blackboard or whiteboard. Well, yeah. Well, the number of times that I've actually tried to explain Clan War League, it's probably about six or seven now. But the messages keep disappearing, so people don't see them. And then if they're not in the Discord, they can't see the, the rules that have been put up there either. I've put them in the Clan Mail as per Ethan Ada, yours and Gupler's suggestion. Mm -hmm. So they're there, but that's going to disappear as well. And plus I need to change it to the whole, you know, if you want to clean up, just wait until there's no one else below you. I should have said that from the very start. That's my mistake. I apologise for it. Uh, and hopefully, you know, that can be rectified in the future. Because I really didn't think about that until last night. I tried to tell night. you that. Did you? Yeah. Maybe you didn't express it that way and I didn't understand. Because mm -hmm. that's the difficulty. you got to make it understandable. And I was struggling. It was in my mind. I just didn't know how to express it. But that's how you express it. Don't go low until there's no one left. Mm -hmm. Below you. Okay. Stupid. Stupid. Poodot. He doesn't know about anything. I'm done with this game. Yep. Yay. Stink Pants has had enough. She's got it enough. It doesn't give me free ads to watch to replay either. I have to, like, reset the chapter. So, mm. No! Fair enough. So we'll call it quits at this point. You've got enough fear in you for at least another six days. <laughs> uh, how about you play? Huh? No way. I saw Why? how scary that game was. You give me a literal heart attack. I want you to play the eye <coughs> that I, you made me play last October. <laughs> hmm? You want that again? I want you to play. No way. Why not? It will be very nice. Yeah, well, I've sent, uh, as you saw, Nature Lover, I've sent uh, a clan mail for the Discord. I've put it in the live chat a couple of times. One person did join recently, and I don't know if they're from the clan or not, because often the names are different between the clan and Discord. Uh, although both theirs are the same. So, uh, no, we, we've got some other stuff to do, Ethernado. So... We, we are going to call it quits at this point. He keeps saying, put up play. <laughs> You're going to have to teach me what to do. Not hard. Sure. You're eating and I'm hungry. And you got to... But don't you have to start again? Yeah. From the chapter. Not, not from the very beginning. You made it all the way to chapter four? Yeah. Wow. It's not that far at all. You counted one, two, three, four... Tell me what I gotta so do. So you have to step. You have to find um, a piece of paper to make a book, but then you also have to hide as well. So look around, have a look around before you're doing that. Enough, enough. Look around before you got caught. See, if you press there, then that means you're hiding. But sometimes it's not hiding. You have to press this one. So you actually going lower. Something was just flying at me. Mm -hmm. But then how do you know when they're gone without looking? You have to sneak peek. Oh, something else was there. Yep, exactly. And what happens if you do a sneak peek like that? Can I, is that... What? I don't even know what's supposed to be in the room. Everything looks scary at this point. Can I Can I get out yet? Oh, that's a, is a dog a friend that's or not? That's the monster dog. It will bark at you, see? That's the eyes. You go low because it will ask other monster to come. It's barking to calling for other monster to come. So you literally just have to look at the floor for a bit? It doesn't have to be. As long as you press that button, you kind of stay low. 
and then that not that is not so they you can be found how do I get out of there press at other step pressing pressing that is close to the hiding one so when you press you actually press hiding so you have to make sure it's not the same where are they like that and then what am I supposed to do now? Find a paper. I thought I did that. Who's that? That's where you can hide. So I've got to go over there because something's coming? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did that thing go? Oh, gee. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, the gnome is fine. But the dog's scary? Mm. The, the dog doesn't have... look scary. It's not that scary. Like, it's just calling for other monsters to come. If they found you. Where'd the dog go? Can I, oh, no, you said the name's alright, right? That gnome is okay. You can yeah. press it to destroy it. Oh, there's, oh, there's a dog. No, run away, run away. Oh, so the dog doesn't actually attack you, right? No, but he's barking. Oh my god, how many times do I have to say this? What did you say? <laughs> what game of phones here? Hey, you better be watching the live chat as well as the game. How are you, Bot Farron? It's good to see you again. Sorry, old Uncle Brudot's playing the game at the moment, so it's actually Stink Pants that should be concentrating on the chat there all right okay seems like spider is going he's saying bye okay bye spider nature lovers say you are doing good tea <laughs> <laughs> i don't know about that did i find that paper already or are you saying i've still got a look isn't that the paper no where's the paper It's there. I played this part before. It's somewhere. Um, I just I low, oh, low battery. Low battery. This might end soon. Uh, okay. Stop. Oh, oh, what was? Where did that come from? Well, I told you, you have to keep an eye on it. Oh, gee. You okay. have to keep looking. It's not like you're doing. You are finding, finding. You have to keep looking too. All right, so that's it. I've had my one jump scare and the battery's running low. Oh, so, good excuse. <laughs> so thank you all for joining. I'm sorry, uh, Bop Gamer, you only just joined, but we're going to uh, end end the stream now because I just wanted to scare the pants off of Poo Dot. They call me Poo Pants now. See this? This is the paper that you need to find. All right. So are you going to go for it? Oh, you should do a tiny bit more there. No, i show you how. Look. Ah, what? Oh, gee, I'm getting scared just by you making me look at stuff. Paper's not scary. Paper. What's wrong with your poo dot? And then you just press and hold and that's it. That's oh, that. Nice, nicely done there, Stinky. Oh, she knows what she... Oh, I know what I'm doing. Look at me mm. playing the game there. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 no. You keep, you keep playing. I'll just pretend it's me. They won't know. Enough. I'm not playing anymore. Oh. <laughs> and give me back my snacky. All right. So thank you all for joining and staying for as long as you did for the stream. That was an epic one. I'm glad that we got to clarify some uh, clan stuff as well. So thanks for the positive support there as well. Much appreciated because... Yeah, I did need a tiny bit of cheering up, but not really. Ah. I was kind of celebrating as well. So, have a fantastic week. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you in the next one. Any final thoughts there, Stinky? We are the champion. <laughs> Someone said that, so I just read it. That's right. No more scary games. There's going to be more. Is that it? That's it. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.